friends welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat West Bengal India this surgery is being observed by Dr. Moong from Manipur this is a small incision cataract surgery superior rectus bridal suture is placed first the eyeball is pushed downward by a muscle hook the superior rectus tendon is held and then a thick nylon suture is passed beneath the superior rectus tendon. This suture is very much essential for making the eyeball stable. It acts as a third hand and it is very helpful to the new surgeons. And now after a small radial cut, conjunctival peritomy is being done for 3 o'clock hours. From 10.30 o'clock to 1.30 o'clock. So 3 o'clock hours or 2 and a half o'clock hours. 10.30 o'clock to one o'clock and now this is te tenons capsule it is being dissected from the sclera the sclera should be exposed we must not apply cautery over the tenons so expose the sclera and just touch over the blood vessels and do very mild cautery and it is done and now a six millimeter incision is being made this is a 15 number but Barka blade, the incision is being placed from 1 o'clock to 11 o'clock. This is a nice frown incision, and now sclerocorneal tunnel is being made. I am starting at the middle and in this case I am sweeping it backward and to the right to make the tunnel from center to the right side and now from center I am sweeping backward and to the left and making the tunnel on the left side. So the tunnel is made and now this is a sideboard at 9 o'clock now an air bubble is injected into the anterior chamber and trypan blue dye is applied over the anterior capsule and now the dye is washed out this is a good practice to wash the dye out because this may cause some inflammatory reaction if it remains hidden under the iris and now this is capsulorexis with the help of a cystitome a 26 gauge disposable needle has been bent to make this cystitome and the rexis is done This is a real-time surgery 
and you are watching each and every step of the surgery and now see how to open the tunnel take a tooth forceps hold the anterior leaf go to the anterior extreme of the tunnel and then go downward and now cut when you go forward so this is very important cut when you go forward and now hydro dissection fluid wave is passed it has been injected at one o'clock and now at nine o'clock and now the nucleus has come out of the capsula bag because the size of the rex is about six millimeter. Now visco has been injected both in front and behind the nucleus and this is an irrigating vectus. It is placed behind the nucleus and the posterior leaf is depressed. The left hand holds the superior rectus brittle suture and the nucleus is gently delivered. Some portion of the nucleus also comes out. And now visco is injected into the anterior chamber and now I depress the posterior leaf sometimes if we depress the posterior leaf the epinucleus if it is free comes out but in this case it didn't come out and now this is a 23 gauze Simco cannula it is being used to, to remove the cortical lens matter. So most of the cortex has been removed. Now the cortex from the superior aspect of the bag is being removed going through the sideboard. Yes, most of the cortex has come out and this is polishing of the posterior capsule with the help of the Simco cannula. This is a 23 gauze Simco. We can use 22 or 20 on gauze Simco cannula also in small incision cataract surgeries. And now this is Visco 2% SPMC filling off the capsular bag as well as the anterior chamber and see how to implant a foldable intraocular lens. Take a Sinsky hook in your left hand and depress the lens and push the lens with the help of the Simco Sinsky hook and the Sinsky hook depresses the haptic optic junction and the lens goes into the capsular bag foldable intraocular lenses are easier to place in the capsular bag than a rigid intraocular lens. Now the visco from behind the intraocular lens as well as from the anterior chamber are removed. We must remove the visco very nicely otherwise there can be raised intraocular pressure in the postoperative period particularly lot of visco is retained behind the intraocular lens so we must go behind the intraocular lens irrigate the capsular bag and as we irrigate the capsular bag all the visco from the capsular bag will come out through the main wound now the side port is closed by corneal stromal hydration and then this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. 
the antechamber is nicely irrigated with PSAs and centering the eye well I go behind the eye well and irrigate some more fluid place the eye well nicely and now the antechamber has to be formed very nicely this is the way to put the Simco and all the VSS goes into the anterior chamber VSS are ring elected and you suddenly come backward and upward and the anterior chamber will be nicely formed and now the conjunctiva has to be opposed to the limbus in this case I'm going to use subconjunctival injection of gentamicin and dexamethasone for a position of the cornea to the limbus. So this is the injection and as we remove the speculum the conjunctiva will remain there. Now here it is. See, as I remove the speculum, the conjunctiva gets opposed to the limbus. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills.